I don't want to see people being terrified. But at the same time, I don't want to see anybody blowing this off either. Anything I share on this video does not substitute the direction of a medical professional. Hello everybody. My name is Jeanette Gennaro, creator of Naked Formula, where we strip your lifestyle so you can live well in every area of your life. Last week I made a video about the growing concerns surrounding the coronavirus, giving you simple ways to prepare. In this video, I want to discuss three questions on this topic, and I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Some people aren't phased at all by this outbreak, yet other people are wanting to cancel their plans and stay at home. To either see this as a joke or to be terrified and overconsumed by this are both dangerous extremes. Where is the line between preparing and panicking? Pay attention to the science and not the sensationalism. As I mentioned in my last video, get your information straight from sources like the World Health Organization, the Center for Disease Control, and your state's Department of Health. Don't stop living your life, but live it taking the precautions the scientists suggest. Avoid large crowds, wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds, making sure you wash them frequently, don't touch your face, avoid directly touching high traffic surfaces like handrails and elevator buttons. And in the event you're asked to self-quarantine, please do it. These are small changes and we all need to do our part. And I will discuss later on in the video why that is. Honestly, how many rolls of toilet paper do you need? I mean, unless you're getting some extra care bucks from CVS, why buy 20 rolls of toilet paper? Why stock up on essentials? Well, that's in the event you are asked to remain at home. Last week, the New York City Department of Health asked over 2,700 people to remain in isolation, many of them in self-quarantine. If most cases are mild, why do I have to be so careful not to catch it? Because we all need to do our part to not spread it to more vulnerable members of our community, especially at this time. Our healthcare system needs more time to have tests readily available. Look at South Korea. They are testing 10,000 people a day and they have a 0.7 mortality rate where in other areas of the world, they are experiencing a two or 3% mortality rate. Obviously, the more people are tested, the lower the mortality rate will appear because, well, math. But there's also something to be said about early detection leading to both faster treatment and earlier isolation. Once again, protecting the more vulnerable population. Here in Florida, we will soon be able to test for the coronavirus at a lab corp or at a Quest Diagnostic Center. The test is 100% covered by Medicare and Medicaid, but if your private insurance policy does not cover it or you do not have health insurance, then reach out to the Florida Department of Health if you have symptoms and they will test you at no cost. So yeah, this virus is spreading, but we need to prepare and not panic. A vaccine is being worked on in record time. We could have one in about 18 to 24 months from now. Also, this virus could mutate into a less severe version of itself as other viruses have. And it could slow down once we hit the summer months. We don't know. Until then, let's be responsible and do our part to slow down the spread of this virus for the sake of the more vulnerable members of our community. Plus, we don't want to put more of a strain on our hospitals and health care system until we're better prepared to treat COVID-19. So those are the three questions I wanted to discuss in this video. Where do you stand? Hopefully somewhere in the middle. I don't want to see people being terrified, but at the same time, 
I don't want to see anybody blowing this off either. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Wait, this is not one of the three questions, but I still need to ask. Why are people so afraid of drinking Corona beer? Corona, the beer, is named as such thanks to the crown logo it has. And the coronavirus that we're speaking of is part of a family of viruses that when you look at them under a microscope, they have these bulbous-like projections coming out of them, creating a halo, much like the sun's corona. Therefore, coronavirus, corona beer. One has nothing to do with the other. So please, if you choose to consume alcohol and you like drinking Corona beer, go ahead and do so without fear. All right, bye now for real.